switching gears, I want to turn now to a, uh, a critical mm -hmm. hearing for Britney, Britney Spears this morning. Some of her fans, some of her supporters are dubbing it B-Day. Right. A judge expected to decide whether Spears' father, Jamie, should be removed as her conservator. He is overseeing her $60 million fortune for some 13 years now, and his actions, as you know, have come under a bit of scrutiny, in part because of allegations of abusive behavior made by Britney. Yeah, in a new statement out just this morning, Jamie Spears' attorney says, in part, Jamie loves Britney unwaveringly and wants only the best for her. All of his actions were well within the parameters of the authority conferred upon him by the court. And we're joined by someone who's been following this case closely, Erin Lee Carr, director and filmmaker of the new Netflix documentary, Britney versus Spears. Erin, good morning. Thank you so much. No, so you. what do you expect to see out of this morning, out of the trial? It's been such a wildly unpredictable case. And so I think we're hoping that there is justice that happens for Britney. But if you look at sort of conservatorships and how they start and how they end, I think we're, you know, looking for a continued battle. There might be a chance that she gets out, but I think it will be determined today by the judge, really. Erin, I think this is so fascinating. Everybody who has watched Britney growing up, as I did, and seeing what's going on with her in her family and learning more about this idea of conservatorships. What did you learn about the process, not just involving someone who's young, a famous celebrity, but in general across this country and how people get into them? I mean, I've always, I'm a feminist forward filmmaker. And it, the question to me was, would a young male pop star be put in a conservatorship? I think a lot of people struggle with mental health issues. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of what my work has been about in the past. But you don't hear the word conservatorship coming up. And so I think really it's about how much does her fortune factor into it? How much does her fame factor into it? How much is that, this were the troubles that happened in 2008. But we're not in 2008 anymore. We're in 2021. Mm -hmm. And so why does it remain? Mm -hmm. I, I want to get your, your take on, on these new allegations that, that were brought up in the New York Times uh, documentary. I'm sure you've seen this. The Jamie Spears and his team allegedly surveilled Britney, actually mirroring her cell phone, bugging the bedroom. Why do you think measures like that would, would even be taken? You know, it was something that I also found. I've been uh, reporting this for two and a half years. And it was Jamie, um, it's in my opinion, Jamie was obsessed with Britney Spears and wanted to know specifically about her love life. And so it made a lot of sense that, you know, it was, it really was about understanding what she was doing and who she was talking to. And we were given, you know, hundreds of text messages, which ultimately I didn't feel comfortable using because, you know, it really, I don't want to be another Jamie Spears. We have one small interaction between Adnan, her previous boyfriend, and Britney Spears saying, get me that lawyer, please. And not, so I think, not, yeah. not asking you, obviously, to actually, before I ask you this question, I want to read the statement, by the way, from the security company. The security company in charge of Britney did not respond to NBC's request uh, for comment, but their lawyer did tell the New York Times they are particularly proud of their work in keeping Ms. Spears safe for many years. So that, that's coming from the security company. Really quickly, I just want to follow up on something you said. Not to reveal the text messages, but can you characterize the nature of them? Mm -hmm. I mean, first off, she isn't safe. I think that when a security firm says, oh, that a, a fan doesn't, didn't come up, I remember looking at this footage where a, a fan came up on stage and she screamed and you couldn't hear her audio because she wasn't mic'd. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't understand, was that because, you know, she, her mic wasn't on or was that she literally didn't have her mic on between sets because they weren't sure what she was going to say. Uh -huh. uh, and so I think that there is just an endless rabbit hole. And I think people love Britney. Spears. Right. And I think that it really is, it's just what was going on in this conservatorship. And we understand why somebody like Jamie would want to have control, but why the criminal justice system? Why the judge? And what are these, how is it still today that we're even discussing? Like, is she going to get out when in June 23rd she said, this is abusive. I want it to end. And quite a level of control. I'm really excited to see your film. And I think there's another one as well. So, you know, looking at it from all different angles. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your insight. Thank this you morning. so much for being here. And Aaron Lee Carr, um, thank you again. Britney versus Spears is streaming on Netflix now. Good having you around this morning. This was, this was a nice debut. You thank should you come so back. Much. Make some more docs yeah. and come back. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.